So I live in Lagos, Nigeria, uh, and I've practiced law in Lagos for the last 35 years. Uh, I enjoy the practice of law. Uh, but if you ask me what else do I do, I'm actually an investor. I like to think of myself as an investor looking at the things that can change lives uh, in Nigeria. And, and essentially what I've done is invested in uh, uh, opportunities uh, that create wealth. But create wealth not necessarily for myself, but create wealth uh, in the way in which I bring the bottom billion on uh, in, into, into the economy. Uh, some of these uh, investments that, I've, uh, uh, that I have include opportunities in telecommunications. I have a, an interest in a, the biggest mobile uh, operator in the country. Uh, the one that brings me the most joy is actually an oil palm and rubber plantation where we have 50,000 hectares uh, of, of land uh, in Edo State in Nigeria where um, we create jobs uh, uh, for uh, uh, 2,000 people uh, uh, outside the harvesting season. During harvesting, um, the, the population of the plantation essentially quadruples. Uh, but the reason I enjoy it is that if we weren't there, um, nothing else would happen. In actual fact, we are the reason why that part of the country uh, thrives. Uh, and so those kind of opportunities are why I enjoy what I do. Uh, uh, the law firm that I, uh, uh, that I set up uh, years ago today is the biggest law firm in the country. Uh, uh, as a result of my association with the firm, I've been able to take a look at opportunities uh, where uh, significant foreign investors come into the country, and I've been able to partner with them uh, every once in a while. The reality for me is what are the things that keep me going? What am I passionate about? I'm passionate about education. I think leadership is a conundrum that we need to resolve on the African continent. I think entrepreneurship is key. We need to look at creating jobs. We need to teach our children that they shouldn't be looking out uh, for just employment, but they need to be thinking as entrepreneurs. Um, Nigeria is essentially a capitalist country. Uh, and so everywhere you go, people are trying to sell you something. Uh, and I think that we can leverage that. But the reason education is important is because I think that uh, when I take a look at the countries on the continent, the gap that I see is about leadership. Uh, it's about the leaders are not good visionary leaders, and how do we change that? We change that through education. We change that such that people recognize that they should vote for issues as opposed to voting for ethnic groups. Uh, and I think the more we, we push the agenda on education, the more we push the agenda on qualitative education, uh, then we will start seeing changes on the continent. And I think for me, that's the gap. What do I think my legacy should be? I think the legacy should really be about um, the, the issues that we push, the, the qualitative issues, the educational processes, the investment in people, uh, uh, trying to make sure that we deliver good visionary leadership. Uh, uh, if we achieve some of that, uh, I think that you know, the, the classic thing about uh, legacy is that you're not there when it, it, you actually see it in fruition. And so for me, it's really putting uh, in place uh, you know, the, the, the uh, opportunities uh, for that change that I may not be around when it happens, but I'd like to think that my legacy would be uh, inclusive. It will be about making sure that people uh, come out the bottom billion, rise out of poverty, uh, but poverty not just about uh, economic growth, but also about uh, education and knowledge and leadership. And, and if we have that, then I think the continent will be a much better place. I think it's a changing world. Uh, and so the things that uh, I did uh, 30, 40 years ago no longer hold true. So if I, if I looked at my, my continent, again, I, I'm, I'm so focused on what's going on in, in Africa. I think it's important for our people to see that life can be different. It's important for us to hold our leadership to account for, for the things that we want. So my, my advice would be, let's get the best education we can get. Let's use the opportunities that we are given. Let's mentor, let's make sure that if you have mentorship opportunities, you get them uh, and you use those opportunities. And more importantly, let's identify the role models in society that you can act, actually look at and want to be like. I think when, if, if, if people, are, if the young ones are able to use those opportunities, uh, the future is going to be bliss. Look, one of the things that uh, uh, the Culture Shifting Weekend has, has uh, really, uh, uh, you know, that's cemented in my mind is how from a situation where I thought there was nobody in the, in the valley that was, uh, uh, you know, that was African-American, this weekend has taught me that 
there are more and more people that are uh, uh, investing, more and more people that are changing lives, more and more that have, that, you know, how, however quiet they may want to be. The reality is that uh, unbeknownst to them, they are role models for the rest of the country. And so what I see, and, and maybe not just for the rest of the country, for the diaspora, uh, the reality is that uh, I, I work with young startups in, in Nigeria. I know that what they're looking for is role models uh, uh, in, the, in the ecosystem, whether they be in Africa or they be in the Silicon Valley. And so the, uh, more, more, than, more often than not, when they see people that look like themselves, they are inspired by those examples. And I think for me, that's what this weekend uh, 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 signifies. And that's what it's, it's cemented in my mind. For me, it's a, it's a message of hope. Uh, hope that we can change the world. Hope that people are essentially doing the things that they want to do. Uh, I see, uh, how, however, that there may be uh, uh, very beginnings of what I, I, I believe will be a tidal wave and a wave of change. Uh, I, I see, I mean, sitting, sitting in the room yesterday where we had the, the, the think uh, tank uh, and the action tank and, and, and listening to people. Um, what it signified was the ability to think, the ability to want to, to join uh, the, this wind of change that, that's blowing. Uh, and, and more importantly, I take back a message to the continent that the things that we're doing uh, are steps in the right direction. We do need a critical mass, just like in Silicon Valley, African Americans need a critical mass of people to be change agents. But I think for me, it's to go back uh, into Nigeria, go back onto the African continent and say to people that these are things that we should be doing. Uh, there are real life examples of, of African Americans that are succeeding, how be it in a, 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 in a, a, a part of the ecosystem that uh, you know, they, they almost didn't have any role models. But I think that when we look back and, 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 um, and, and you know, I, I, I talk to young people on the continent, what I will be saying to them is these are opportunities and, and these are role models that you can, uh, you can look forward to being like. And, and, and really, uh, that message for me is a message of hope.